Yo guys, Features Gaming here with another video on the trucking career. And as you can see, I am back to commentating, which means I have got my gaming laptop. As you can see, this is full HD 1920 by 1080. You probably don't know what that is, but it is. So, I mean, it just looks a lot more clearer. My mouse is not lagging at all. I mean, they gave me a mouse with the gaming laptop anyway when I bought the gaming laptop, but I mean, that's pretty cool, but <laughs> yeah. So, today I thought maybe let's not actually break the rules. Let's actually obey the let's obey the rules. Taking the scenery with the full graphics of Euro Truck, the 400% scaling or whatever it is. And just appreciate it and answer some questions along the way so today we are going to be taking a digger 500 from Birmingham because I've actually downloaded a load more mods because my computer can now handle like loads of mods being on it so I have got pro mods so if I just go into here and I zoom out you can see we have basically got every single city you can think of some down here is that I don't know what country that is to be honest some place though in the world <laughs> so yeah we're going to be taking so it, it had to reset us back to Birmingham for downloading pro mods uh, and we're taking it to Porth Madog I believe that's how you say it it's, it's still in English so I should know how to pronounce it I believe that's what it's called so it's offering in 11.9 grand we're on 74 grand because I did uh, repay the um the um the money the wait I did repay hang on I've got no sound I have no idea what's going on I literally had sound before I started this recording I can't wait I've I've literally got no sound Alright guys, I'm just going to go ahead and sort that quickly and then I'll, I'll be right back with you guys. Right to you guys, so I think I've sorted it now. So, yeah, so we're going to be taking the Dig 500 from Birmingham to Porth, my dog. In our lovely Scania that we've had for a long time. Uh, yeah, and the reason that we went down in money is because if you didn't see last episode... I actually got um, an engine malfunction whilst I had the no damage mod on and I was like thinking what's happening so I decided to repay it uh, to like repair my truck so then hopefully we shouldn't have any more problems so once we've coupled let's just do that go outside and it's beacon time Just look at that masterpiece. Full graphics, no lag whatsoever, full beacons. I mean, I'm happy. <laughs> I can do Euro Truck, full graphics, no lag at all. I believe we're running like on something like 30 FPS or maybe even like 50 or something, which will be brilliant. But yeah, really good frames per second as well whilst playing it which is good so now we just need to wait for someone to actually let us out that white car is going to so let's do that now so hopefully the sound and everything is okay let me just get past that uh, barrier so yeah hopefully the sound and everything is okay because obviously with pro mods you can like change sound things and everything um, I decided to download pro mods with um, with default damage I don't know why I did that. I should have done it with no damage. So then we didn't need the other no damage thing. I mean, I can't download it. I can't download it again because it's it's just going to take for ages. Maybe when the next update for Euro Truck comes out, and then I need to update Euro Truck again. So, I believe we should start getting into the questions. It's getting quite dark as well. Wait, what time is it? Is it? It's nine twenty. I should have just looked on the clock down there. So yeah, 9.20 p.m. Not the really best place you want to be in, really. I need to be in this lane. Move over. Thank you very much. So as I said, I'm going to be obeying the speed to just appreciate 
the scenery and everything while we answer some questions. So, the first question is, do you prefer to eat at home or eat out? I prefer to eat at home in the comfort of my own house. Don't know why, some people would love to eat out. I just prefer to eat at home. Now, if this car would kindly move so I can go into that lane. Thank you very much. Right, so, can we have another question, please? Yeah, it's going to be quick fire questions. They're literally just going to come and go at me. Right, so, is it harder to exercise more or eat healthier? Um, is it harder to exercise more or eat healthier? I think it's harder to eat healthier. Because when you've got into like a certain routine of having like the same food all the time, if you see what I mean, then it can be, oh, whoops, I did not mean to do that. But if you like eat healthier and you've got kind of like a running routine, it can be like quite hard to get off that, to get off that routine and like going on to eating healthier means that you have to go on like a diet or something. Um, but exercising more... Exercising is just walking to places, like walking to the shops, walking your dog, walking your cat. <laughs> Don't know why you would walk a cat. Walking to school, walking to college, wa walking to work, wherever. That's exercise. So I think it's way easy to exercise more than you usually do. Um, but I think it is quite hard to eat healthier. So, another question, please. What is your favourite brand? Ooh. That's quite tricky. That's very tricky. Very tricky indeed. Um, I don't know, to be honest. I buy from, like, a variety of brands, like Nike. Um, I think I've got some Adidas stuff as well. Or a deed as however you want to say it. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to have to go with Nike. Or Nike. However you want to say it. Because they're, they're just so comfortable. So yeah. Nike. Next question please. If you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life. What would it be? Now I believe we actually answered this question. Um, a couple episodes ago. Like episode 40 or 50 something which is insane, <laughs> that we're already to this day, I think it's episode 74 it is today. I'm not sure. I think it is episode 74. So, is it episode 73? No, it's definitely not 73. Yeah, we are on 74. Um, so, um, if I could only eat... Um, I chose McDonald's fries, didn't I? Yeah, let's just get up to the speed limit. Oh, that's 60k, okay. right. Yeah, so, thingy, McDonald's fries, that's my answer. What is your favourite sports team? Ooh, um, I don't really have a specific favourite team. I just, I'm not that kind of, like, supporting person. I'm more of, like, a, um, a person... How do I say it? I just watch like football games or just any games as for fun. Not like as a supporter, like Wales score against us. Like I'm just like, ah, oh, well, if it was England, probably yes. Yeah. So England would be the team that I support, like if, if we were playing football. But if it was like, um,. Juventus versus Barcelona or whatever. Juventus versus Real Madrid. Um, like, I wouldn't mind who wins. Because, like, I support a variety of teams. And I just don't care, to be honest. <laughs> Juventus get three points. whoop de doo What's the big deal? Um, that, that's how I see it. But, yeah. I, I Like, I do watch the game for, like, as entertainment. Like, I don't watch it for, like, saying, Oh, must, must, but my team's on. I need to watch it. Nah. We are speeding. Uh, let's actually get down to some to actual speeds, because um, I mean we could 
break the rules. Yeah, let's just break the rules. Yeah, why not? Uh, why did I even think about bringing to... Why did I even think about just obeying the laws? Right. Breaking the laws, right. Uh, next question. Can we please... Um, would you rather not be able to use your hands or not be able to walk? That's tricky. I need to refuel too. Um, right, there's a fuel station over there. So that should mean that we've got a fuel station coming up this side. Hopefully, otherwise I'm in trouble. We're turning off here anyway. Going to the west on the A56. <laughs> I believe that's what it said. A56? Was that it? No, M56. I thought it said A. Um, right. Um, let's stay behind this truck. Um, right. Uh, not be able to use my hands and not be able to walk. If I wasn't able to walk, there would still be like a load of different substitu <laughs> substitutions that I could use. Like mobility... Why is like getting a wheelchair um, and stuff like that, but not be able to to use your hands? That means you wouldn't be able to do this. You wouldn't be able to use a computer. You wouldn't be able to write. You wouldn't be able to feed yourself. You wouldn't be able to shower by yourself or have a bath by yourself. You're restricted to a lot. So I think to rather not be able to walk. Yeah. Create another random topic. Um, we just had that one. Come on. Create. What isn't it creating? There we go. Do I have any pets? No, I do not. Next question. <laughs> What are you most thankful for this year? My gaming laptop. Even though that it wasn't bought from my parents, I actually bought it. But I'm thankful to them because they, cause like they sold some of my old stuff that I didn't want anymore that I'm getting rid of. Um, and that's what gave me the money to be able to buy this. Uh, and I'm also thankful to them for searching for different gaming PCs and different laptops and trying to find the right one. So that's what I'm most thankful for them this year. Right, so if I could go back in time and change one thing, what would that be? Um good question. Hmm. Very tricky. Very, very tricky. I don't know. I don't know what I could go back in time to change. Does it mean like to like 1980 or like to when I was like born? Am I only restricted to when I was born? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to miss that one. I'm going to generate another one. Would you rather be the most popular kid in school or the smartest kid in school? Ooh. I'm thinking smartest kid. Because if you're the smartest, then in some ways you're kind of popular. Because, like, if someone doesn't know what to do and you're obviously, like, the smartest kid in school, they'll come to you for help. And if a lot of people are like that, then loads of people will come to you for help. Which means that you're kind of popular, or you will be popular. But if you're just the most popular kid in school... That, like, and, and you, like, probably don't know a thing. If you see what I mean. So I'm going to have to go with smartest kid. So next question, please... Okay, this is a <laughs> this is a bit of a weird question. Do you believe in love at first sight? Ooh, very tricky. Very controversial as well from <laughs> an answer I might say. Um I'm going to say yes. Cuz like you can 
Because, like, right, I'm looking at this from a boy's point of view. I'm not looking at it from a girl's point of view, to just say that. Like, I, I, like, I could look at someone and, like, immediately, like, just stare at them for, like, five minutes. Because, like, I just look at them and I'm, not, and I'm just like, you're cute, you look smart, you look intelligent and everything like that. You look pretty. And then, like, I... Th How do I say this? I'm trying to say this so it's not weird. <laughs> so, like, yeah, like, I just believe, like, you can fall in love as, like, at the first time you see something. The only issue I have with that is that if they look smart, it doesn't necessarily mean they are smart. Remember the saying, don't judge a book by its cover? This is when you need to... What lane do I need to be in? I need to be in this one. <laughs> so, um, the saying, don't judge a book by its cover, you need to take that saying into account when you fall in love with someone at first sight. Like, you need to actually get to know them, know if they actually are smart or not smart. So, yeah. I'm saying that it... I, I'm saying that I do believe in it, but, like, not fully understand it, if you see what I mean. So, yeah. This is a bit of a weird road layout, I must say. Promos definitely do a great job on confusing people. Right, generate another topic. Are you doing anything fun this weekend? Um... I don't know. We did something fun last weekend. We went to the International Space Centre in Leicester. Well, me and my stepdad did. My mum and stepdad wanted. My mum and sister wanted to go see a show, um, and I I don't want to go see it. I'm quite thankful that I didn't go to see it. My God, <laughs> I'm not going to talk about it because I could get demonetized. Even though I don't really earn money from YouTube, but if I was getting monetized, I probably would be demonetized if I started to talk about the show. But um, <laughs> yeah, let's try, try and keep this PG, please. Um, so, we went to the International Space Centre and you're probably thinking, why didn't you vlog it? Because, oh, parked car there. There we go. Am I supposed to go this way? Yeah, because that'll go back around to the right. This is going left. So, I went to, and you're probably like thinking, why didn't I vlog it? Now, I didn't really go there to have fun in some ways. Like, like, obviously I did go to have some fun, like go on the simulator and stuff, because that's actually reopened now. But I borrowed a camera from, from my college to, like, just practice with, like, the different settings in it. Like, try manual focus, ISO, aperture, white balance, um, everything like that. The zoom feature and everything. That I went to, like, practice that, and I thought International Space Center, like, w w I was just told that we were going to to Leicester on the Friday, literally like or the Thursday, two days before we were actually going, I was just like, okay I need to get this charged, so um so I got everything like charged, uh, well my, my, the camera that they gave me it has like a battery in itself, and it can be recharged but they gave me like three spare ones so like I had one already in the camera and then two more spare um and why do I need to go for this? This way, okay. Did you hear that? That sounded sweet. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong thing. All right, there we go. So, yeah, like, um, they, they gave me some batteries and I just went there to practice with the... Um, to like practice with the camera because like there's loads of things that you can take photos with at the International Space Center and with it being so dark in some places as well that meant that I had to be on my wit that that meant that I had to be on my on like I had to be changing the ISO and aperture and white balance and everything like that so yeah I haven't refueled I should have <laughs> so yeah that was fun uh, in terms of this weekend, no, not really doing anything. Not that I remember of, to be honest. Um, and yeah, so let's just park this now and then I'll end up the episode.
In some ways, I think I've got too many beacons. <laughs> you can never have too many beacons. Let's actually turn them off now because we've actually arrived at our destination. Right, so excellent rating. This is so smooth. Right, so it took us 4 hours and 57 minutes in game. Yeah. Base reward, 252 miles, which was 7 grand. So basically, we just earned the, the 11.9 grand that we needed. Uh, the XP. Level 20 master. Like it. And that puts us on 86 grand overall. Wait, 86. I'm guessing we had to like pay... Wait, we ended on... We ended on 70... Yeah, that's fine. Sorry. I'm just getting confused. My math is not working for me. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this episode, guys. So if you did like this episode, then leave a like on it. That would be awesome. Thank you very much. Subscribe if you want to see more videos on the trucking career in high graphics. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, then just subscribe. <laughs> and also click that notification bell so then you guys will get notified every time I put out a new video. So then you guys can go and view the video first. You can like the video first. You can comment first on the videos. You can share the videos first. Whatever you guys want to do on the video, you can do first. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care and peace.